welcome to part two. All right, now, uh, the first thing to do, of course, is go out and film some video. A couple of tips with the flip camera is um, hold it steady. Uh, it's a really nice, simple camera to use, but you do want to brace your ha arms. Don't hold the camera out at arm's length when you start filming because you're going to get shaky video. Um, so hold it with two hands and maybe hold your elbows, hold the camera a little closer to yourself and maybe brace your elbows against your body as you film. Um, it does have a tripod uh, attachment on the bottom, so that's always a good option is to um, put it on a tripod. Um, the other thing is the audio, it has a microphone so it will pick up audio, but because it is a simple camera, that microphone on the front is not super powerful so if you are trying to capture good audio you'll want to make sure you're plenty close to the source of the audio so get closer fill the screen with your subject matter that kind of video is always nicer to to look at if the screen is f more full all right so um, I've plugged in my video uh, I've plugged in the flip camera you'll notice it has a USB um, plug right on the top so you find that button it's almost like a switchblade and the USB plug flips out so you can plug it that USB um, port right into your computer or um, that does usually come with a little extension cable that you can extend it so your camera doesn't have to be hanging out the side of your computer but the cable is not required that is another benefit of this camera so when you plug your camera in the software um, that allows you to transfer the video from your camera to your computer is already on the camera so you could plug this into any computer it takes a minute or two for it to load up and you end up with this software the software you're seeing now okay and so here's the camera that I've plugged in and you can see there's about oh, exactly 79 video clips on here so every time I start and stop or even pause the camera it makes a separate clip which is kinda nice and uh, the memory on this camera, it's a it's flash memory, so it's the same kind of memory that are that uh, in one of those small thumb drives or flash drives that you might carry around, and in all the new iPods or iPhones also have the same kind of memory. Um, so these video files are stored on the on the memory of this camera as individual files, which kind of makes them nice to manage. Now you can, or your when you plug this in, your computer may ask you if you want to access that um, external memory just as a folder like open up the folder you could see the video in there and you could even drag the video out of that folder onto your computer and it'll copy the files down this is not recommended I would say because um, when we've done that I have noticed that the video often does not play um, correctly so I really recommend using this flip share software that starts up automatically um, when you plug in your camera and it this software does a whole bunch of stuff but we don't have time to in this tutorial to go through all the stuff that the software will do all I want to use this software for is to move video from my camera onto my computer okay so if you look down this left in this left uh, column over here it shows me I've got my camcorder connected there at the top and there's 79 videos there and then underneath that it shows a computer it says computer now the computer that's the computer that I'm sitting at and here's where when I move these videos over they're gonna show up on my computer here um, and that means I have a copy of them stored on my computer so all I need to do is find my way through these videos so this is a these aren't fourth graders they're second graders so um, and then some teachers here so I could find my way through this video and uh, let's just use say this video here so we're doing some math while making cookies so let's say I want to I want that video onto my computer so I can add it to another project or edit it in a, in a video editing program And in this case I want to add it to my uh, video podcast that I'm creating in Camtasia so all I need to do is select the video now if I want to see what it is I want to play it a little bit I can't there is a play button so I can play it Okay, so it's playing, I can hear the audio, and I, and, and I can see here that it's a minute, four seconds long. Now there are some editing uh, tools here, you can see a little scissor that tr allows you to trim the video. So if this was a really long clip and I only wanted a part of it, um, I can use that tool to go and select just part of it to transfer to my computer. I think I'll just get this whole thing. Okay, so select it, come down to this toolbar across the bottom, and there's a lot of options here but all I need right now is to click save to my computer 
and a couple options here. I'm going to leave these videos on the camera in case I want to put them on a different computer. So I'm just going to say yes to this message. And now you can see over here in the lower left hand side is the progress. So it is making a copy of that video and putting a copy on my computer. Okay, that's finished. So for now, that's all I'm going to use the FlipShare software for. I'm going to just minimize that FlipShare software down. Now, where did that video go? It's on my computer somewhere and it didn't really give me an option uh, of where to store it. Well, let me just show you. If you go to your computer, or what used to be called my computer, um, and we're going to go look under Documents. I'm sorry, that's not what I want to look under. Um, if you look down here under Folders, um, here's a way to access all the stuff that's on your computer. So you can see Documents, Pictures, Music, and then it says More, but if I um, pull that down, what I'm looking for is the Movies folder. Okay, So I'm going to click on my username here, or the username for this computer, UEN. When I do that, I see all the um, things that are associated with this computer and this login. So look for that little um, username there. Yours obviously won't say UEN. And when you do that, you'll see that there is a video folder. So I'm going to double click on the videos folder. And inside of there, there is a flip share data folder. So I'm going to double click on that. And here's the, what the flip camera has stored on my computer. Okay, so I made a couple little preview folders, but the actual videos are here inside of this videos folder. Okay, so there they are. Those are the two videos that I have transferred from my camera to this computer. And they're stored here um, in, the, in the user, under videos, under flip data share, and in a folder called uh, videos. So you could always just type in a search here if you couldn't find that spot. Like if you're back out here under documents, you could search for just the word videos because we know that's the name of the folder. And you can see here it took me here right to it. Okay, so I could find it there. All right, so, um, oops, let me just move my mouse here. Okay, so now, once I locate those videos, um, I need to move those into uh, into Camtasia so I can make them part of this project. Okay, so let me go to Camtasia, and um, well, let's stop this tutorial here. That that's enough for this tutorial. So I got the videos from the camera onto my computer, and then I just needed to kind of locate where they were. In the next tutorial, I will um, import those videos into Camtasia so they're inside my clip bin and then position those down on my timeline to make that video part of this project.